Today is a very exciting day, because today I'm going to mint my very first token. I've been told you can do it in less than a minute. Get out of here. But I'm not sure if I believe that. But hey, let's give it a go, shall we? So the token we're going to be creating is an HRC20 token on Harmony. And this is our version of ERC20 tokens, which you're probably already familiar with. See, the beauty of being EVM compatible, as we are, is that many of the tools and utilities that exist on Ethereum can be speedily adapted to work on our network. And you know that expression, standing on the shoulders of giants? Well, that's the power of open source development. Now, you've probably interacted with ERC20 tokens hundreds of times, but did you ever wonder what ERC actually meant? Well, it stands for Ethereum Request for Comments, and the 20 is the number assigned to the proposal. ERC20 is just a proposal to provide basic functionality for transferring tokens, as well as allowing tokens to be approved so they can be spent by another on-chain third party. And that functionality looks like this. Without it, there would have been no ICOs, there would be no Chainlink, there would be no DeFi, at least not in the way we know it today. So coming back to Harmony, developers are currently building the first wave of dApps on the platform, and one of the busiest of these is Michael Otis, who's created Ripped .io, which is a suite of applications, many of which have been ported over from Ethereum. And the one that caught my eye was the HRC20 token creator. Now, personally, one of the biggest reasons I came into this space and stayed in it was because I fundamentally believe tokenized models of value can completely reshape film, music, and art. In other words, the world I spent the majority of my professional life working in. But I really believe the only way to actually bring about this kind of change is just to go ahead and do it yourself. So here we are, creating my first token. So this token generator has actually been adapted from a GitHub repo created by Vittorio Minicori, who published it in December 2018 in a medium pose with, well, the admittedly clickbaity title, Create an ERC20 Token in Less Than a Minute. Now he wanted to create a dApp that made it super easy for non-code heads like me to deploy a token. In his words, no login, no setup, no coding required, and no payment, excluding gas. So big thanks to Vittorio for building this in the first place, and given we're using the same functionality, basically the same code, it should be possible to deploy an HRC20 token in under a minute. So let's give it a go. So first step, we have to go to the ripped.io website, and here you'll find a couple of different options. You've got apps, you've got DeFi, you've got games, and you've got token tools, and the token tools is the one we want. So we'll click there, go to Create Token, and here you basically have a couple of fields you need to fill in, and then three pretty simple steps. Fill in the token details, then there's the advanced setup, and then Create Contract. So if we go into the token documentation drop-down, it gives you a few more details about what we're actually going to be able to do. We're going to be making an HRC20 token, which is compatible with any HRC20 one that will around the world. We'll be able to generate tokens by minting them. There'll be a cap on the number of tokens we make. We can also burn the tokens so we can reduce the circulating supply. And there's token recovery as well, so it allows the contract owner to recover any HRC20 token sent into the contract by mistake. And that's pretty much it. The only thing left to do now is mint some tokens. And to do it properly, I'm going to set a timer and see if we really can do it in less than 60 seconds. So. Let's go ahead and do that. Set a timer for one minute, and off we go. So token name, I'm gonna call it Supermassive. Token ticker, I thought about this hard, I'm gonna call it large, as in large in it. 18, total supply, 100 million. That'll do. Initial supply, 51 million. Sounds about right, go to next. Not going to disable minting. We are going to enable transfer. Click on next. Create token, review token details. Looks awesome. We'll go with that. Submit. So now I have to sign the wallet request. And we still have 20 seconds. So hopefully with fast finality that should just go through. And then I've created a token. Are we going to make it? Success! There we go. So that was actually 54 seconds. And yeah, there is all the information I need. Oh, hello. Thank you very much, yes. 
Yes, definitely did it in less than a minute. So success, I have a contract address. Copy and save your ABI below. This is how you will interact with your contract later. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I figure I need to, whoa, that's a lot of code. That is a lot of code. Another thing is the cost of this. So this cost me 5,001, which is about 30 bucks. But for the price of setting up my own token, I think that's pretty good. Now there's only one snag here, which is that it's not yet possible to view HRC20 tokens on the Block Explorer, but that functionality is just around the corner as we prepare for the arrival of BUSD on the network, and you can follow Natish on Twitter for the latest updates, and I'm certainly looking forward to seeing the large token there on the Explorer. I've done it. I'm now the proud owner, or the proud minter, Mint. of large tokens. The supermassive token, it's alive, it's real. So there you go, it really was less than a minute and now the supermassive token is out there. It's alive, it's large. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I certainly won't be running an ICO, but one thing's for sure, if I can do it, so can you. See you on the next one, peace.